When do you think Oklahoma City will get the first benefit from this water? Well, we'll receive uh, an immediate benefit in that we'll have a lake of water, which is, uh, is what we need. And uh, if an emergency should arise, such as a, another drought, well, then we'd at least have a lake of water to come to. Would you estimate the cost of getting the water to Oklahoma City? Uh, well, previously the cost was uh, around $36 million, but of course that would be increased because that was made in 1954, and that would be increased now. Well, that will be known in this report that will be filed. How much of that money do, uh, does Oklahoma City have now? Well, we don't, uh, it is not financed at the present time. That's a future finance. I don't know. Well, I've often thought about it. I, I don't think you're supposed to take another person's life deliberately. Well, do you feel if a life is taken that uh, the law should, the public, society should take the life of the killer? Uh, well, I've never thought about it much. Um, there are some crimes that I feel like are unforgivable, but uh, so far as taking another person's life. I just haven't thought that much about it. Thank you. Yes. Yes. For I what do. reasons? For what reasons? Well, uh, I believe in the old saying of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And if a person is guilty of the crime committed, he actually committed a crime without any shadow of a doubt, then I believe in capital punishment. Uh, yes, I do. It seems to me that it's a uh, just reward for people who willingly commit crimes when they're under complete control of their senses. And so therefore, I think it's a just consequence for the things that they do. Sure am. For what reason? Uh, well, I think all of them deserve it, sometimes. So then you would say that all murderers and that type of criminal should be put to death? Well, not all of them. Well, which one but should? Those that's done it. <laughs> Those have done it more than once. 
Then you think on the first time they shouldn't? In some cases. In some cases. Yeah. I don't believe that you can give an unequivocal answer to such a question. I believe that there are too many things involved, too many things at stake. As an example, who are we to set ourselves up as judges? How can we say that we shall take a man's life even though he has done wrong in the eyes of society? And then there are those of whom I am one who will say, yet if you do not take a life as a punishment, why should we, the taxpayer, pay to maintain this man's life, this criminal's life? Why should it add to our already mounting tax burden? So I, I think an off-the-cuff answer is impossible. 